what about the concerns that have been raised again here today in terms of smaller jurisdictions being able to be competitive or, or access these funds? Um, I like Commissioner Spearing's um, uh, amendment that it looks like we will also be including about kind of a carve out um, that can be a competitive grant pool. Presumably we'll develop guidelines around that. Uh, that gives me some assurances, but overall, what about this issue that's being raised? Mr. Executive Director? Well, I guess I'd make two points. Uh, the first is this is a housing incentive program, and so the idea is to incentivize the construction of housing. Um, and I, I think to the extent that large cities build more housing, that's, <laughs> that's what we're trying to encourage as a result. I will also say uh, we've done some analysis, I think you've seen it multiple times, that if, if looking backward, if this program were in existence um, as of today, you know, cities like Gilroy, cities like uh, uh, American Canyon, I mean, I, I think in many cases small cities might cash in on this incentive if they're in the right cycle. There may be other small cities that would never cash in. Uh, but again, we're trying to encourage the construction of housing, whoever can do it, large or small. Uh, I, I do think that probably gives an advantage to large cities, uh, but to the extent that we're trying to get people housed, I think we need to worry about getting them housed, not where the house is. <laughs>